Hey everybody, uh, welcome to an in, in the car video where I drive and talk at the same time and hopefully I don't die. Uh, so, I recently got my license, uh, probably a month, well, I got it January 8th. And um, I'm currently at my college campus, which is way, way south. Uh, the sun is probably going to be a, a pain. Um, but uh, it's really, really way south of where I usually am. Many of you may know uh, where Columbus, Indiana is. Well, that's where my campus is. Many of you also may know that uh, there's a disc replay down here which was a main defining factor of why I chose this campus. So I could go to Disc Replay uh, once a week. Now last week I wasn't feeling up to it, so I didn't go. But the first week I actually did do a recording, and I really hope I can... Sorry, let's see. Yeah, uh, okay, I'm going too slow. Um, so the sun is going to be a real pain in the ass. But last week, I went and uh, found Fox and the Hound Blu-ray for $12, which is a really, really great deal. Um, and this week, I hope to find something good. Yesterday, I went to Disc Replay in Greenwood, which is the normal one we go to, which is just, it's just terrible now. It's so picked over, but you can still find the occasional good deal because I found an anime series uh, what's it called? Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex, uh, which is a uh, anime series that aired in the early 2000s. Uh, I got it for $15 for the complete series. Looking forward to watching it. But um, so I want to I want to chat you up. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Uh, so I just got out of class. Um, this class is really easy. It's basically touchy feely class. Um, but you know what? I think it's good for me. Uh, so I went and saw uh, two movies within the last five days. I went and saw American Sniper. What was the other one? American Sniper. What the hell was the other one? Oh my god, I can't remember. What the hell? It was literally like three days ago. American Sniper, what else did we see? Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't remember. <laughs> oh, jeez. I am drawing a blank. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit, just flew out of my mouth. I'm so stunned. Dude, what the hell? Anyway, I saw American Sniper... And I think Bradley Cooper uh, did a fantastic job. Uh, overall, the movie was very good. But um, do I think it'll win Best Picture? I don't think it will. Uh, what was the other movie? It was a nominee. We saw The Imitation Game. Oh my god, I couldn't remember for shit. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. Okay, Bradley Cooper and Benedict Cumberbatch both deserve to be nominated for Best Actor. They both did fantastic jobs. Do I think either of them... Uh, okay, so I've seen several of the nominees. I've seen Grand Budapest Hotel, Invitation Game, American Sniper, Boyhood. I think those are the ones I've seen. And out of the ones I've seen, I would choose Grand Budapest Hotel to win Best Picture. Um, it was just so charming, and uh, overall... I li I've liked it the most of the, of the nominees I've seen. But, um, I think if I just had to guess which one would win, based on, you know, previous awards and stuff, I think Birdman's gonna win. Um, I really, really want to see it. One of my friends, I, I had posted on Facebook that I was at a theater, I checked in. At a theater, um, was watching The Invitation Game, he said it was really, really great. Um, and I said, well, yeah, it was really good, but I still think, uh, I don't think it'll win. And he said that he had seen Birdman and said he didn't think that was that great. But, you know, opinions vary. Um, but just big, solely based on, like, critical acclaim, I think Birdman's gonna win. Um, but that doesn't mean that American Sniper or any of the nominees are bad. 
know, but one just glaring omission from Best Actor is Jake Gyllenhaal for Nightcrawler. I'm holding up traffic. Um, that movie, I want to see that movie again, like, soon. I may download it. I don't know, I won't download it, but, um, he did such a good job. He was on par with Bradley Cooper with, like, the weight, like, Bradley Cooper put on some weight for, uh, American Sniper. He, uh, he was a big guy in that movie. And, uh, on the opposite end of the spectrum, Jake Gyllenhaal dropped a bunch of weight. Uh, for Nightcrawler. If you haven't seen Nightcrawler, I thought it was really, really great. Oh, and Whip Whiplash is part of the best picture, too. Okay, I can do... I can speed up on this. So, uh, I think... Um, well, we're going to Disc Replay. I've only been to this one a few times. I went last week and found Fox and the Hound Blu-ray. I did record it, but the recording didn't pan out, so you never saw it. But uh, I'll catch you there.